let's go outside right now. A beautiful day. Look at the Golden Gate Bridge. We saw some blue skies. It was very nice when the sun was out. Let's get a check of our forecast with Chief Meteorologist Jeff Renary. And some rain is headed our way, right, yes. Jeff? Oh, yes, it, it was gorgeous outside today with that blue sky in our next storm system. It's just offshore, so we are going to begin to see things picking up. As we bring you into our microclimate forecast tonight, I did want to give you the, the wider perspective of what's happening right now. And it's all about this cold front right now. That's about 500 miles away. Now, the strongest portion of this storm system is going to be moving off to the north, the center of low pressure. So we're not looking for a major storm, but again, we're going to get a small piece of this moving our way. The problem is our rain season. We're down four to 10 inches and snowpack just 58% of normal. So we need a lot more to get in here and I am going to update you on my long range forecast and what I see happening over the next uh, 30 days. Uh, Storm Ranger mobile Doppler radar shows some rainfall developing right off to the north as expected down here into the Bay Area. We're dry right now. The radar is just picking up a little bit of that mid level moisture. That's where those spotty areas of green are on the radar right now now. So I think by 1130 tonight, the timing has slowed down a little bit. The main portion of the storm system is offshore, as you can see it right here. So a lot of this is going to move in when we're sleeping two o'clock in the morning. It moves over the North Bay, starting to approach San Francisco. And then as we hit seven o'clock in the morning, most of that rain has moved out with just a couple of spotty showers. So you see what I mean? A lot of us really aren't going to experience this rainfall. And then we dry out as we hit one o'clock on Friday with some sun starting to return with the time Timing slowing down, totals are also down a bit. Everyone looking at about a quarter inch or less with this quick round of rainfall coming our way early tomorrow morning. So as we get you ready for that Friday forecast, temperatures are going to start off on the chilly side. Make sure you have some sort of jacket. You can see we are back down into the 30s for the Tri-Valley. 37 degrees to be specific. My forecast in the South Bay at 41 with a mix of those sun and clouds. The East Bay, 38 degrees, San Francisco, 42, and for the North Bay, 37. Daytime highs tomorrow. Got to go to the grocery store. Got to get outside, get some fresh air, do a workout. Just get a few moments for your sanity here. Uh, we are looking at some upper 50s and low 60s with some rays of sunshine coming back in. I do think some of my warmest weather would be down to San Jose and Morgan Hill with 62 and 63, respectively. And then you're looking at a lot of 60 degree temperatures from Livermore right in to Martinez. My extended forecast dries it out through this weekend and next week in San Francisco. Notice we do have king tides next Monday and Tuesday. That will give us some coastal flooding problems. And for the inland valleys, we're also dry as we head through uh, next week's forecast. Now, with that said, I did want you to see in my long range forecast right here, January the 28th through February the 8th. All right now, I'm calling for a 65% chance of at least one to two storms. So right now, I do think that's when things will be picking back up for us. So some good news on that front, Raj and Janelle. You talked about worked out. I did a quick workout today, guys, and then right after that, I had about 10 yes. chocolate-covered almonds. Oh, I had chocolate <laughs> today, too. I saw your Instagram. Oh. You were stress-eating, Janelle. I know. <laughs>